What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to deploy a front-end React application to Versal, which is a deployment platform that you can use to easily uh, deploy your applications with zero configuration. So what you wanna do is go to versal.com and then you're gonna go ahead and click on sign up if you don't already have an account. Now, Verso allows you to sign up via GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, and you can also sign up with your email. So once you sign up, go ahead and log into your account. Now, once you log into your account, you'll be brought to the dashboard screen here. To start deploying, you can click on new project, but instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually deploy the application using the Verso CLI, which we'll install in a second. So what I wanna do real quick is just show you the application that I'm deploying. So this is a React app that was built uh, via MPX Create React app. And it's just a simple counter application with two buttons and the actual count in the middle. If you hit the plus button, it just increases the count. And then if you hit the minus button, it decreases the count. And this is the code here. Uh, we just have the two buttons, a span, and then uh, the buttons have an on-click handler which we'll call the appropriate function to increase or decrease the count. So that is the application in a nutshell. And now we're gonna go ahead and install the Vercel CLI and then deploy the application. So what you wanna do is click on terminal at the top here and click on new terminal. And now we'll install the Vercel CLI. So type in sudo npm i dash g for global Vercel and then press enter. And then we'll have our password and then it will install the CLI. So once the CLI is installed, type in Versal. And then it will give you this uh, question here where it wants you to continue with GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or your email. We're gonna do GitHub, so hit enter. It will just give you the screen where it says CLI login success. And now you can just close the tab and return to the CLI. It will then ask you to set up and deploy and it will give you the route for your application. So just make sure that this route here is correct. So type in Y. And then it will ask you which scope do you want to deploy to. You should see your account username here so I can see code wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. It will then ask if you want to link to an existing project. This means a project that is already on Versil. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, type in N for no, because we do not have an existing project yet. And then we wanna give our project a name. We'll just call it counter app. And then it'll ask you which directory is your code located. So because our application is in the current directory we're deploying to, you can just go ahead and press enter. It will then ask you if you wanna override the settings. What this is talking about is specifically the build settings for your application. Now, Versal does know that uh, your application was built with MPX Create React App. So that is why you see React scripts here, which is basically what we're using to build our application. So there's no need to override the settings. So you can just go ahead and type N. And then from there, it will actually build and deploy your application. So once it's deployed, it'll actually give you a URL for your app that actually is automatically copied to your clipboard. So if we go to our browser and type it in or paste it, you can see the application is live now on a HTTPS URL. So now you can actually share with any potential employers, friends, and they can all see your application. So you can see how easy it is to deploy your React application to Versal. You can actually deploy it with zero configuration and deploy it within a matter of a minute. So I highly recommend Versal, and Versal also allows uh, Next.js applications as well as Angular and a couple others. So feel free to check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like the video, and thanks for watching.